Once deboned, we're gonna layer that chicken with some Dijon mustard and some of that beautiful apples we got down to Castro. Once that yard bird is stuffed, we're gonna wrap it in call fat. That's gonna choke that chicken real tight and hold that meat together. It's a chef's dream. Taylor, what's your status on the salad? Bread, vinaigrette, red onion, I'm done. Panzanella salad is Tuscan in descent, with its two major stars being bread and tomatoes. My twist will pay homage to both those ingredients by using ciabatta bread, heirloom tomatoes, crunchy cucumbers, sweet onions, and basil. In lieu of oil and vinegar, I'm bringing my southern roots, baby, with the Bloody Mary vinaigrette that's gonna bring that spicy kick. It's gonna have your taste buds saying, Mille grazie. <laughs> that's Italiano for thanks, y'all. Dirty rice is a traditional Creole dish, but you know what? You ain't gotta worry. There ain't no dirt in this recipe. We're gonna start off by cooking some of that wild boar beer sausage in a skillet over medium heat. Then we'll toss in the green bell peppers, celery, mix it all together with the sausage, a little cayenne, salt and pepper, then combine it with all that steamed rice. Right before serving, we'll finish it off with some beautiful green onions, chopped parsley, pecans, and a spicy Cajun hot sauce. So right now I'm working on this enchilada sauce. If I mess up the roux, this sauce is gonna be trash. So we're gonna clean and peel the pumpkin and then rub it down with some chili powder, cumin, and coriander right before we roast it. It'll take about an hour, hour and 15 minutes in a 400 degree oven. And then we're gonna dice it up, layer it in a pan with corn tortillas, chipotle peppers, and a burnt orange infused enchilada sauce with jack cheese. Good Lord. And just before service, we're gonna top it off with a fresh and tart cilantro lime crema. This is my base. I got teriyaki, some sweet chili sauce, and eel sauce, and then I'm cutting it with some fish sauce. This close relative of the black eyed pea is tender, juicy, and bursting with green bean flavor. Our first step is to blanch them by tossing them in salted boiling water, then immediately shocking them into an ice water bath to stop them from cooking and to keep their color. And then we'll saute them up on high heat with sweet onion, sliced garlic, soy sauce, and Thai chili. At the very end, we'll toss in some sweet tricolored peppers and some crunchy broccoli. We'll fry up our maitake mushrooms with a tempura batter made of flour, eggs, baking soda, soda water, and salt and pepper. I know ZBV fans love that song, Chicken Fried, but tonight they're gonna be singing, I like my little stir fry.